Today I'm going to show you how to mount an SSD to the Light Chaser 15 Pro. It's super easy and just using some parts that are readily available on Amazon. So the first component that you're going to need in the Light Chaser 15 system is the grip because all of these SSD mounts that are available aftermarket are all going to mount into the cold shoe, which is right on top of the grip. So you get whatever SSD you have, you buy the corresponding cold shoe mount on Amazon has a bunch of them. And then you're gonna need to pick the cable. So there's two types of cables. Um, there's obviously just gonna be the straight USB-C, USB-C connection. And then there's also a lot of cables that have this little right angle connector. And this is key if you're gonna be using this grip because your hand is going to be going over that part and grabbing the grip like this. And in order for that to be comfortable, this right angle is huge. Another note about these cables, you need to make sure that they have enough capacity to match the read and write speed on your SSD. Otherwise, when you're recording to the SSD from the phone, it's gonna lag and it's gonna take forever to write to this thing. And you don't want that while you're shooting. So you wanna make sure the bandwidth of the cable is going to match the bandwidth that the SSD has. Usually like a thousand megabytes per second is kind of a good baseline to have. So shooting on an SSD just makes it a little bit easier for a couple reasons. The first reason is you don't have to worry about any storage on your phone. Shooting the ProRes files can take up a lot of memory. And if you just ride them straight to the SSD, you don't have to worry about bogging down your phone with a bunch of large ProRes files. The other thing, it just makes it a lot easier to transfer the files from your SSD to your computer. You can just ride it to an external device and then just grab that device and plug it right into your computer or pass it off to your editor. It just makes the workflow a lot easier, especially when you're shooting in ProRes, which lo looks super, super clean, by the way. You can check out our latest shoot that Nate and the boys went up to Pismo and shot a bunch of stuff with Motion Clubhouse, super clean. And for the cables, if you can't get a hold of a right angle one and you're running just the straight USB-C connections here, just make sure that your grip is all the way over to the side of the case. It's gonna make it a lot more comfortable for you to grab it. You're just gonna kind of put your hand right underneath that straight USB-C connector and then grab the grip and you've got a nice solid connection right here. Personally, I think it's more comfortable to use the right angle one into there and kind of just grab it and cover it with your hands, but kind of personal preference up to you of how you want to do it. And also it's not going to really matter if you have a straight one, because if this thing is mounted on a tripod, you've got your tripod right here. You're not holding it here in any way. It's just kind of mounted to the tripod. Or if you're running a gimbal setup and you've got the gimbal mounted here, you're also doesn't really matter if that cable is straight or at a right angle. Um, length sizes, the best size cables to run anything from four and a half inches, just to get that connection from the SSD into that USB-C on your phone up to 10 inches. So those are kind of the cable sizes that you're going to be looking for. Again, remember to make sure that your read write speed is able to pass through whatever cable you end up buying. There are these little adapters too that you can use. Not the most comfortable in my opinion, but it's also a solution. A little USB-C right angle adapter, which would send the straight USB-C upwards like this. And then you're just popping it in like this. I don't know, I guess it is a little more comfortable, but the ideal workflow is to just grab a cable that's already got the 90 degree. That's pretty much it for how to mount the SSD onto your Light Chaser 15 case system. Remember, you are going to need to add the grip to your uh, case and defender setup. This also has the VND, Light Chaser VND built in, so super sick cinema rig, ready to roll. If you have any questions, drop a comment below, happy to answer them. I'm Jeff, see you on the next one.